Welcome to part number 12 of Need for Speed Underground 2. This is the movie Chicane, and today we're going to continue more of the world events. events. And as you can see, we already met the minimum requirement to complete our sponsor obligations. However, I want to continue doing all the regular events. And yeah, just the regular world map events, and then URL races follows. Hey, how's it going? Whoops, I accidentally hit B by accident. Yeah, ex exactly, Arthur. That, I mean, yes, I, I agree with you in a way, Lucien Hope, but at the same time, Arthur does bring up a good point where it's like, Audi dominated when there was no manufacturers, you know? Like, Pescarolo was one of their main competitors, and that's a privateer team, as opposed to being a, a, an actual factory team, you know? But, you know, if, if I was a manufacturer racing in the WEC, I wouldn't care about the competition either. Because your one goal in racing is to win. And and yes, I understand that the fans need to have a show. They need to have competition and variety and whatnot. But at the same time, you gotta understand that while the WEC might be there as a organization to put on a show and a race for fans, the manufacturers are there for one specific job and that's to win. You know, and that's like when, and I'll give you an example here in the States. No, I can't. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not even sure what kind of language that is. I, I thought, is that Arabic? But then I was like, no, that could be Hebrew. I'm like, I, I'm not, I'm not sure. But, um, uh, what the hell was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. An example here in the States, it's like when people complain that in, in NASCAR that freaking Kyle Busch and Kevin Harvick and Martin Truex were winning all the races this year because they were the big three. And, oh, there's nobody winning that much, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, well, they're there to win, not to put on a show for the fans. And, yes, the show comes with their job, but at the same time, their main priority is to win. Same thing with Formula One and, and Mercedes. You know, it's like, yeah, Hamilton's winning all the races right now. Mercedes are winning all the races right now, if you don't count Bottas. But, uh, well, he hasn't won anything this year. But, um, their job is not to put on a show for the fans. Their job is to go and get these wins, get money for the constructors and whatnot. You're from, oh, you're from Georgia? Wait, is there a country in Europe called Georgia? There we go. Oh, cool. That's cool, dude. All right, so, Street Cross. It's the big X coming at you strong. Oh, that's cool, dude. That's cool. Thanks for clarifying that, dude. Appreciate it. I actually did not legitly know. Yep, rest in peace, my geography skills. Seriously. I mean, there's so many small countries in this planet that you can't even, like, I, I can't recount every single one. No sound. Uh, you might want to check out your stuff out, bro, because it, OBS is telling me that there's sound. I'm looking at the OBS settings real quick, and I see sound. Oh, I know Portugal's in Europe. Oh, the smallest country in Europe? Oh, okay. Alright, you scared me for a minute. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> 
Oh yeah, Luxembourg and San Marino, they're they're technically considered their own countries. Oh, Vatican, yeah, that, that is technically considered the smallest. Okay, well, how many more events do we have to go? We have one, two circuit races, two sprints, one street cross, so that's one, two, three, four, five, and then we have two hidden events, so I want to say... For this video, we should do three, four, okay. So for this video, I'm going to do three more races, and then for the other video, I'm going to be doing the two races that are remaining on the map, and then the two hidden races that I still haven't done. Am I going to stream most uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted? Yes, I will, because I'm actually doing a Need for Speed Marathon, so I actually completed my Let's Play for Underground, although the videos haven't been fully uploaded onto YouTube just yet. Currently doing Underground 2, Most Wanted, then Carbon. And that's going to be it for the marathon for this particular... Hey, hey, what's up, dog? What's up? Word of the why is some action brewing in Beacon Hill. Now, I haven't been able to pinpoint the exact location, but you should be able to find it without much problem. My boy says some easy pickings, so I thought you might be in. Good luck, man. I'm out of here. Oh, thanks. But I have a map, so I know where it's at. But yeah, um... After Carbon, that's it. I won't be doing any more Need for Speeds for a good while, because I have to play other stuff. <laughs> Whoa, that Mustang went straight into the wall. Calling and driving. <laughs> I know, right? What an inconsiderate person. Doesn't even think about the safety of the other people in Bayview, even though the pe uh, pedestrian AIs are pretty garbage. Sometimes they run into walls and like they run into other cars anyways. I realized I used up all my nitrous and it's not even a freaking sprint race, it's a circuit race. Oh well, I mean, I can gain the nitrous back, but still, that level 1 nitrous bottle just drains quicker. Oh nice, this is your first game on PS2? That's cool, dude. My first game on PS2... Well, I had three first games on PS2 because... My parents got me my PS2 back in 2001 wholesale. And the first three games I have gotten was Gran Turismo 3 Ace back, Jack and Daxter the Precursor Legacy, and... Oh, I can't remember the third one. Shoot, I can't remember the third one. Hey, Lucas, how's it going? So this is the next event, Street Cross. Good lord, look at that Pojo with the freaking Orion body kit. I know, right? <laughs> oh, I remember that Midnight Club. It was the first Midnight Club. That's what came with the little bundle. 
and, and and it wasn't even like an official Sony bundle. It was just like host. It, it's this wholesale place. Bay, I don't remember what it's called, but pretty much it's this whole wholesale place where you can build your credit, and they sh sell shit in bulk, so that way you're forced to spend more money, and they jack up the prices because of like to build your credit score up and shit. So that's why I remember that. The frog intensifies. Hit <laughs> your eyes. You might want to shut off the stream right now. Before you do any more damage to your eyes, abstract. Whoops. GT3, MC2, and something else. That's cool, dude. MC2, honestly, like... I don't know, man. Like uh, the thing about MC2 is that I love that game, but I don't know if I like it more than three, or if I like three more than two. What am I gonna stream after Need for Speed? Um, that's a good question. I'm not sure. That that'll be a surprise. I haven't even gave it any thought, to be honest. I probably won't give it any thought until Carbon. Although I'm kind of doing, like um. I'm doing uh, GT5, uh, Gran Turismo 5, all the B-Spec races as like a side project. No, it's not going to come after all the Need for Speeds. That's kind of a side project thing. So, you know, I'm kind of doing that on and off. Your first, P your first PS2 game was Gran Turismo 4, but in 2010. Hey, better late than never, dude. Alright, so this is the last race of this particular video recording, and it's a sprint race. And we have four more events to go for Stage 2's world map events. At least I'm racking up a lot of points behind this guy to fill up my entire can of nitrous. Because this is like a sprint race on the freeway, so we're going to need all the nitrous that we can get. But yeah, Gran Turismo 5, I, I plan on doing that soon once again, like getting back to it. Because I've, I've recorded 35 segments for it so far. And the reason why I stopped is because the game was starting to get, at least in B-Spec, towards the end of B-Spec, unless you count Endurances, because Endurances make sense, but like the Extreme and Expert events, they get so tedious. And they're kind of easy once your driver's leveled up, to be honest. Like, all my drivers are really good as of this recording. They're really good drivers. And so they're just going and smoking everyone, and I don't really have to do much, to be honest. Like, it's much funner when the drivers are out level zero and they get tired quickly and they start making more mistakes because it starts, it makes the racing more intense, you know? Okay, so we're 69% of the way there. Oh, we end where we started the world event. Okay. I thought we were going to finish on the freeway, but I guess not. <laughs> My drivers are good, really good drivers. Rest in peace, Flynn. Pretty much. His ass got fired to make way for Kobayashi and Rossi and Kaz. Well, Kaz is kind of... I, I want to say Kaz is... Uh, let's see here. It's not that he's a bad driver. I think he needs to calm down a little bit more because Kobayashi and Rossi had a one-minute lead at the Grand Valley 300 and Kaz did the final stint and only won the race by a whole second. Oh, that was weird. It said I was going the wrong way for some reason. <laughs> Nothing can beat the legend, Pete Enos. <laughs> oh, good lord. 
only GTA 5 speedrunners left on Twitch after Fortnite? Well, that's all people really watch on Twitch, that's why. Alright, let me go ahead and make a thumbnail real quick. And the next time we get on NFS Undergrounds here, we're going to be doing the final four races of the world map events. Unless we have some hidden races that we somehow miss.